Bay Circuit Meat Commerce in all its flailing glory. People are anxious to be getting somewhere. And they have these menacing metal things that will squash you like a bug. But across this raging torrent of people anxious to get somewhere, we have Walden Pond. How about that? So when the situation permits, we'll traverse this thing. So yes, this raging torrent was traversed. There's our Bay Circuit confidence blaze. And yes, we've now left 126 Walden Street. Now we're about to turn into the Walden Pond Reservation. You can see the offset blaze indication right over there. And here we are at the Henry-esque epicenter. There we are looking back to the north from where we came, just over by that bit of woods near the red traffic lights. And this is where we're heading. Waldenward. Haven't been here in a while. Back in the 80s, I used to pedal a bike out here and go fishing. Or I'd take the last train out of North Station on a May night and walk from Lincoln, arrive at about 2.30 a.m. and wait for sun to rise, which is fairly early in May. It's the best. All I ever caught were bass, but it was fun. So here we have it, the little Bay Circuit Trail indicator welcoming you, intelligently posted, given that lots of people come through this little place. It's crazy and mobbed in the summer because there aren't very many places to swim. Most freshwater bodies in Metro Boston are now drinking water. Now, I'm reasonably certain that this, one of the most popular places in the Commonwealth will be reasonably well blazed, although you can see a bit of blaze vandalism right off the bat. Nonetheless, I can detect that it wants me to go this way. Oh yeah, there's some more blaze vandalism, even up here in Little Harmless Concord. Sheesh. Maybe paint was a better idea. Ah, oh, yeah, here's the blaze they forgot to rip down. <laughs> and it takes you on to the old Jeep, horse, whatever path a road Henry probably took on his way back from another night at Emerson's. Oh, this is where he had his little bean field. It was no longer beans that I hoed, nor that I hoed beans. 
I see. Jeez, Henry. Kind of overgrown now. Placid run. Here, the Bay Circuit is tied to the Heart Friendly Trail, as they call it, to help those such as myself who are horribly out of shape. The more demanding trails are left for the more adventurous. Just imagine Hank stumbling home from another night of arguing at Hawthorne's house. Stop by mom's for some stew. There's a notable intersection. A little sign saying Wyman Road for the thing we just came in on. And more notable Bay Circuit places. So this is the way the Bay Circuit came from. And now it merges with the alternate pond loop. The alternate pond loop departs from the base circuit to go this way, following the contours of the world's most famous little kettle hole pond. can see some little facet of it below. trails in Walden rising fairly high above the water's edge, further fueling the theory of a greater glacial lake long gone. So you get a glimpse of the pond. This is over where Hank lived. This is a funny little Wet Meadow, Wyman Meadow. <laughs> and we are now more or less running along the Esker Trail, I believe. <clears throat> this is the general site of Hank Stump. Oh, looks like another Remove Bay Circuit Place. See if we can ter interpret from the nail head locations where it wants to go. Well, I guess it's letting More or less. 
across in a straight line, hewing to the <coughs> line of the pond, taking a somewhat high road. <sighs> yeah, this place is popular. Even on an obscure Tuesday in September. It has brand value. <laughs> so many other comparably wonderful little kettle hole ponds. So many other comparably fine woods. There's the ridiculous cairn for Henry's dump. That's where he lived. Even though he'd go home to his mother's for dinner. <laughs> Anyway, it is a pleasant little pond. It's not its fault that no one has the imagination to think of anywhere else to go, but that's Massachusetts for you. <laughs> Some major trail vandalism. In here, you can even see, you know, that looks like a little nail point fairly high up that got clobbered. Jeesh. Looks like it's been clobbered. <laughs> 